that yeah exactly and i think that one of the main reasons why people look at the explanations that come from evolutionary psychology and then say oh they are just oh, uh, just so story right is because uh, i mean most of the things that go around in our mind are subconscious right and most of the things that influence our yeah. behavior and our decisions operate at a subconscious level and so <laughs> and so even now and then when I have discussions with people about about these things and we're talking about oh men usually on average choose women that have these characteristics and men we, and women men that have those characteristics and so on uh, uh, all the time someone comes and, and says something like oh so you're saying that because that all all men choose women because they have neotenous facial traits and waist whip ratio of 0 0.7 and clear skin and so on. Uh, uh, and I have to be honest, sometimes I, 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 I troll them a bit and say, oh, you know, you, you, you know, uh, that really, uh, you know, you're talking about the case of your cousin Bob who's married to a woman who, with square chin, large shoulders, big belly, and burps all the time. But you know, my great-grandmother uh, uh, only ate potatoes and beans, but because she didn't have access to cake and steak, so perhaps if your cousin Bob <laughs> was higher on the year on the male hierarchy perhaps you he, he could try a shot at Jennifer Lawrence or so <laughs> you are trolling <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I, I'm trolling <laughs> yeah yeah 